Hello, welcome to another episode of Make Your Mark Podcast, and I'm your host, Kay Sutha. Now, we have spoken about video podcasting versus audio podcasting and a few other very basic things as to, you know, how to listen to your first podcast, where to go, what um, platforms that you can download to listen to them, depending on your device, all the good stuff. Now, we're going to be getting into a little bit more um, advanced things around podcasting. Now, we're still going to be sticking to guesting right now, okay, because there's still a lot more that I want to share with you. And so today, I want to speak with you on how you can self-evaluate yourself as a speaker, okay? Now, I know so many of you are afraid to get on camera, like we mentioned last time, and you're not too sure if you're getting through to your audience the right way, okay? And so I've come up with a self-evaluation that you can do on yourself to see what kind of tweaks you can make in your talk. What kind of tweaks can you make as a speaker? And we're gonna be looking at not just your languaging, but your body language as well, okay? Now this is gonna be a very quick one, but I'm gonna explain every step. And there's about four different steps to this, okay? Right, so the first step. If you haven't already guested on a podcast, I want you to start applying and start guesting on podcasts, okay? Now, I do have a very savvy tool that me and my team have created. It is an AI platform. It's an AI tool that we've created that helps you get booked on more podcasts because it actually creates the pitch for you. It creates your ideal um, talk topics with titles and description and it can actually become a lot easier to apply on all these different podcasts. Now, what I would actually say to you is to make things easier, look at your own network first, okay? Look at your own network to see who's got a podcast and ask them if you can be on their show as long as it relates to what you're talking about and is a good fit with a podcast. Now, This AI tool, right, it is mind-blowing. There's a few people that are already using it and they have got some significant results. Now, if you want to know how you can get access to this, then you can email me at k at makeyourmarkagency.com and I'll explain to you how you can get access to this, okay? Again, the email is k at makeyourmarkagency.com. Now, let's go into the self-evaluation. So once you have recorded a video episode on someone else's podcast, you've guested on their show, there's nothing wrong with asking them for a copy of it, right? Or if it's coming out very soon, then you can wait for the release of it and make sure that you go and take a look at the video. Now, it's very important that you check out the video right? Because the next three steps is going to be vitally important that you have the video format, not just the audio. Okay. Remember, if you just have the audio, then you can't leverage the video part of it. But if you have the video, you can leverage both the video and the audio. Okay. Now, this is what I want you to do. So you've got the video in front of you. Step one, or step two, should I say, once you've actually recorded the episode, is to watch the entire video from beginning to end. And I want you to keep a notepad and pen next to you so you can make notes because you will be self-assessing yourself here, okay? And so I want you to start making notes. I want you to look at everything, the words that you're using, the language in your body language, is your um, hands flying all over the place? Are you rocking side to side? Are you going back? Are you going forth? Like what is going on here? Okay, and I want you to take a look at everything. And I want you to start making notes. Sometimes you might even find that you're probably saying a particular word. Everyone seems to have this this one word that keeps coming up or they keep saying it after every single sentence, right? I want you to watch yourself. I want you to listen to yourself. Once you have watched the entire thing, right, with video and audio, you listen to yourself from beginning to end. I want you to then watch this video again. This time, this is step three, I want you to put the audio on mute and I just want you to watch it all over again from beginning to end, but just on the video, right? So now you're looking purely at your body language. Now, when you start doing this and you start looking at your body language, what does it tell you? 
right? Again, are you waving your arms around? Is it distracting? Do you look bored, right? What's your facial expressions telling you, right? Do you look excited? Are you passionate about what you're talking about? I want you to look at everything, right? Your facial expressions, your hands, your movement, right? Like, is this something that people are gonna appeal to? Because remember I said to you, your audience are gonna be looking at everything. With video, they're gonna be looking at your, the, um, the visual side of you. People that listen are gonna be listening to your words, your languaging, right? And if you are not relating to the way that they learn, right, then we need to start making tweaks. We need to start making changes. And sometimes we don't realize that we're doing certain things or saying certain things ourselves. And this is why it's important to go back and watch the replays. Okay, so now you've just got the visual, right? You put yourself on mute and you're just watching yourself. I want you to start making notes. Do you look boring, right? Are you using a lot of facial expressions, right? Because someone that's just watching you and that's learning visually is looking at everything, right? They're looking at your facial expressions and to someone that's visual, a visual learner, your facial expression is the way that you use tone, okay? It's tonality for them. And so you want to look at everything visually, right? Even the uh, your background, what is going on? Is it a distraction? Okay. Once you've done that, you made notes, right? You can also tweak some of the things that you don't like seeing about yourself, right? And some of the changes you want to do, or maybe you're just very straight, right? And you're just talking away and you realize that actually, um, you don't look very relatable, right? You don't look like you're just having a conversation, which is what you want to do. And you want to start using gestures. You want to start being yourself. You don't want to be robotic, right? It might be something that you've noticed about yourself. You don't even realize that you do. And so you want to make those self-assessments, make notes as to what you liked that you did and what you don't like and things that you want to start changing. Now, you might be very self-critical because I know we all are, right, about ourselves. And you might be like, oh my goodness, I've got about 20 things that I don't like that I do that I want to change. Don't go ahead and start changing all 20 things because it's going to be impossible, okay? So you can just change maybe one or two things. And once you've got hold of that and you feel better about it, then you can go find another two things that you want to change, right? And start implementing different things and different habits slowly, not all at once. Okay, the next step is you probably figured it out. I want you to go ahead and watch this entire video from beginning to end, but this time I want you to switch off the video and just listen to yourself, okay? I want you to start listening to the language and the words, your tonality that you're using when you're speaking. So again, people in the audience that learn through voice, right, through tonality, people that are at the gym, right on the treadmill, listen to, listening to the podcast instead of actually watching you, how are they actually perceiving you, right? How are they actually learning? What's actually going in for them? And so again, is it certain words that you're saying, right? Is it certain um, tonality that you're using? Again, are you very robotic with your voice? Are you making sure that you're giving the value that you're trying to get out there? Are you repeating yourself? Like start making notes. Again, with your notepad and pen, what you notice about your talk, right? Is, does it intrigue people? Does it get them excited when they actually listen to you talk? Right, if it isn't, then you're probably not gonna be getting through to that particular audience that learn through audio the right way and so again you're going to be needed to make tweaks right start self-assessing yourself guys right and it's okay that you don't like everything about yourself and i know it can be really awkward to watch and listen to yourself because i felt the same way in the beginning right and i actually procrastinated a lot i didn't want to do it because i'm like oh god this is so icky it's so awkward i don't want to listen to and watch myself but I promise you, this is gonna benefit you in the long run, especially if you're gonna to want to be a speaker. Right? If you wanna be a speaker and start speaking on those big stages, building your audience, building your authority, then this is an absolute must. 
okay so i'm going to recap so first of all once you have recorded a video episode on someone's podcast and you've been a guest i want you to get hold of that video recording and watch it with the audio and video on from beginning to end right at the same time i want you to listen and watch yourself at the same time and start making notes on things that you've noticed about yourself and then want you to re-watch it this time turn it on mute and just watch your body language right your facial expressions again start self-assessing making notes on certain things that you do on video that you like and things that maybe you want to change and then the third time when you're watching yourself or should i say listening to yourself you want to switch the camera off and just have the voice on the audio on Right? So you're listening to your tonality, the language, the words that you're using. Right? And again, you want to self-assess, make notes of what you like and what you don't like. And then just take a couple of them and tweak them. Do not change every single thing that you don't like about yourself all in one go. And I guarantee you guys right, that you're going to not like a lot more things about yourself than other people. Okay, I just want you to take one or two things and start tweaking those and once you've got into that habit and you know that you um successfully made those changes then go on the list and maybe just change a couple more do not attempt to go and change all 20 things that you didn't like about yourself in one go and what you're going to find is once you have changed those certain habits and you made those tweaks when you start getting on more and more talks and you do more podcasts and you guess on a lot more, you're going to find changes of the response to your audience because all of a sudden, those little tweaks is going to relate to your audience so much more. They're going to grab onto you, your, the way you come across, the way you talk so much more, and they're going to relate to you, okay? You will start seeing results, positive results. So just keep at it listen and watch your videos and i want you to do this a few times don't just do it with just one podcast that you've gone on do it with several of them right because what you will find is when you start watching yourself a lot more and listen to yourself a lot more there's going to be other things that you pick up on that you didn't on the first video because as human beings what happens is we will actually change one habit and sometimes we pick up another right and you're thinking oh my goodness where did that come from and so you want to keep self-evaluating yourself until you get to a point where you absolutely feel like everything you're saying the way you're coming across is solid right and is actually showing you in results because of what your audience and how they are responding to you that's how you know that you're on track okay now if you want some more information guys about the AI platform that I spoke about earlier, then remember, go ahead and email me at makeyourmarkagency.com. Okay, go ahead and send me an email. Let me know that you wanna learn more about this because this is one of the tools that's gonna really help you get booked on more podcasts. And I want to see and hear about the feedback that you're getting from getting on these podcasts because I want to make sure that all this information that I'm giving you, especially in this podcasting segment that we're doing in the next three months, that is actually helping you, okay? So I'd love to hear from every single one of you and I'll catch you in next week's episode. Thanks for listening to Make Your Mark Podcast at www.makeyourmarkpodcast.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get this and every other episode that comes out. We have lots of great stuff coming, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it. And thank you in advance for all the reviews and comments. I appreciate it so much, and I look forward to serving you in next week's episode.